I've heard before that it takes three installments in a series to know if you're interested in it, and I'm here to test that out. Hey everyone, Skull902 here, and this is Rule of Three. Today on Rule of Three, I'm going to be taking a look at the anime version of One Punch Man, adapted from the self-published manga by a mysterious author only known as One. The original manga, distributed as a webcomic, was started in 2009. It was then adapted into a mainstream manga in 2012, and the anime started airing in 2015. The English dub is produced by Viz Media. Of course, like MHA, I am only looking into the anime, so I won't be able to compare it to the other two versions of the story. Let's begin. Right off the bat, this show looks pretty nice. The character designs are good and the animation can be pretty fluid at times, though it does suffer from anime choppiness every now and then. It's got some pretty decent background music, as well as very good opening and closing themes. We don't get to see too many of the regular characters in the first three episodes, but what we get from the English cast, in my opinion, sounded pretty good. Geno sounds a little generic, but considering his character, I can forgive it. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little iffy on the writing. The show has good humor most of the time, but when it comes to the actual plots, I don't know. The amount of destruction raises some questions, but as a guy who likes Power Rangers, I know I probably shouldn't be the one asking them. I also felt it a little weird how much concern Saitama had toward Genos just before the climax of Episode 3 right after having clearly been annoyed with him that same morning. True, he did agree to become Genos' teacher and all, but I didn't expect him to act like they've been longtime friends that instantaneously, you know what I mean? There also seems to be a thing with a bunch of setup and little payoff in this show. For instance, when Saitama and Genos are about to infiltrate the House of Evolution, Genus and his clones talk about readying their traps on all eight floors before they can get to the basement, and then Genos just destroys the place from the outside. I know it's a joke, but I think the two blowing through the place could have made for a cool sequence. Saitama even lampshades this. Not to mention, I think the House of Evolution had potential as a season-long story arc, but alas, it was done after two episodes. That being said, I do like Saitama and Genos' characters. I think they both play their roles well and have an interesting contrast. With Saitama's laid-back nature and Genos' eagerly willing to learn and improve, I believe it could make for a good dynamic. Ultimately, is that enough to keep me watching? I'm gonna have to give it a maybe at the moment. There is something here with this show, and it isn't bad by any means, but there are also plenty of other things I'd like to check out first. Perhaps at some point I'll continue where I left off, just not right now. That does it for this episode of Rule of Three. I've been Skull902, thank you for watching, and have yourselves a wonderful day.